What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and this is another NASCAR reaction, and I've not done one in, I would say, probably about a week, maybe longer, because I did one the other day, but it wasn't, I, I, I wanted to do a NASCAR video, but I couldn't find the video that I was searching for, and the video that I did was Formula 1 versus NASCAR versus, like, MotoGP, etc., um, to do with um, pit stops, which was a quite a cool video, actually, I really enjoyed it, but this one is top 10 craziest NASCAR saves. Have I already said that? I don't think I have. But I feel like I've done a video like this before. I'm not too sure, but if that's the case, if it's what I'm thinking of, it's like cars going like out of control and then the driver somehow like miraculously, miraculously saving like the car from either crashing into the boards or like somehow keeping them in the race, like on the track. And when, like when you see it at the speeds that they go to, it's genuinely like really satisfying to experience. But the thing is, I don't want to just keep doing this sort of stuff. I want to actually like, cause I know people like the crash, uh, crash reactions, like NASCAR crashes. Because it is one of those things that is big in the sport. But I do actually want to learn and like see different things. So please just suggest anything you want to see, man. Literally anything. Because I'm struggling to sort of find what I should do on this sport. So yeah, anything you want to see, please just suggest in the comments, man. Because I'm down to do like, again, anything. I've said that like 10 times in the space of 10 seconds. But yo, I'm excited for this, man. And quickly, I just want to say like, I hope you guys are doing well with all the stuff that's going on with the virus, etc. I'm not sure how the US is doing. I'm guessing it depends on where you live, where you live in the US. My thoughts with you, man, because I know it, like some people are very scared of this. I'm quite lucky. I live in a place in the UK. It's not a big city. It's quite one of the smaller cities. And there's been like one or two cases. So it's not really like there's no lockdown yet. But it's, I feel like it's going to start getting there. And the UK is going to be hit hard within the next two weeks. But yo, hopefully you guys are doing well. And yeah, let's just get into it, man. Hopefully this can keep your mind off it a bit. And yeah, let's just get into it. I do really enjoy these NASCAR top 10 videos for sure. They're really satisfying to sort of watch. But is it, I don't know if this is too loud. I might just turn it down a little bit because I don't want to, oh yeah, it's 14. You might wonder why it's so low with the earphone. For some reason, it's really loud. Oh my days. Oh Jesus. He's going to show Reaper it better, dude. How has he saved that? His car's literally turned the opposite way. Oi, that is rude. That is so sick. I genuinely forgot, because I've not done a NASCAR video like this for ages. I've genuinely forgot how skilled the drivers have to be. That is nuts. At the speeds that they're going at, it just... Mate. The hair play. That's Ted. Oh my days. No, what's this going to be then? I may have seen that for some of you, I'm not sure. Oh, but he skipped that. He's back in though. Let's see the extra tap. Thing is, when that usually happens, they go flying, don't they? He's literally like went, what, went five, ten metres to the side, oh, just came back in. Right oh, 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 Jesus! That looks smooth as hell. Obviously, the speed went a bit away, but like, what uh, what's the word? Like, looks wise, is that the right terminology? Like, sort of, aesthetically, that looks sick. That was sick, but the way it's... Aesthetically, that looks sick. I'm not gonna lie, that does look so good, but... Like, to control that, I mean, you've got to rate it, man. You really have to. And Denny him oh, Jeez! Look at that! The tyre smoke, bro. And he just kept it, he just kept going. He dropped like one spot, right? Is that it? So he was there. So he's dropped three spots. No, he's two spots. Oh, so he managed to get in front of him. That is sick. Fair play. I tell you what. Oh, mate, looking at it from this angle, this angle is genuinely like, I'm not going to say scary, but like, you can, it's like you're sort of in the car. Like the way you sort of see the cars in front of you, just like skid like that. It's genuinely wild. And like, I've seen other videos with this, when, like, when there's proper crashes, it's genuinely like scary looking at it. Like the sparks, etc. Yo, he just, he just smooth that bro. Yo, that looks sick there. Oh, that is so sick. Oh my God. <laughs> so, look 
Mikel just goes around it. He's literally injured from touching the board. I guess when he hits that, his car's like finished at that point. So fair enough. By finished, I mean like damaged. Because I know I said before, like oh, this is like one of my first ever videos. Ah, uh, so when you hit the boards, you're just out. And you guys were like, no, you're not out. But your car is basically damaged to the point where you are basically out. Unless you're very lucky. So the fact that you managed to avoid getting like hitting that, that is like ultra, like that's proper. Look at that tap. Oh, jeez, he literally just hit it. Oh, Jesus. He was swerving everywhere. So he taps it top. Oh, he literally just skims it. And then he looks like he's going out at that point. Because when you go on the grass as well, like the car's finished as well. So that is really, really sick. Now here he is losing it off the corner right in front of Clint Boyer. Yeah, he's literally went like 90 oh, degrees. Oh, jeez. Oh, he just misses that wall. Still doesn't touch it. Oh my! Oh, you got lucky. Wow! Lucky Yo, these guys are. Good. That's a good driver. Ooh, that's great race car driver. Look at that. He's spinning. These guys are not. They're so good at what they do. I don't understand how you can control that at that speed. Top three, bro. Oh, mate, I am actually so ready for this. Wait, so I'm guessing he just made a wrong turn. What actually caused that? I guess he just went a bit too steep. Or oh, something to happen to his tire, his tire burnt out. Yo! Look at him from his angle, it's like the car's floating. He's still in, bro. So it was the, it was the, back, the right back tire, the back right. Maybe basically just the back tire, but the right back tire. Does that, is that, is that how you say it? The right back tire? The back tire on the right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Two, yo, I'm actually so excited for this. This is an old clip. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's going both ways. I said 360. 720. Oh. Okay. That was cold. So he went that way once, and then he went round 360 twice. Was that three times? God damn, man. Look at him. So that is literally like, I'm guessing in terms of the of NASCAR, because to I'm guess like to finish a race or to get points, you have to finish a race. If you don't finish a race, you don't get points. So I'm guessing in terms of NASCAR, that's actually a really big thing to do. But to save it, when you're basically looking down and out, how can you even top that? Oh, I think it's this one. Like it sparks it. Twice. But why sometimes is, I'm sorry I'm pausing it loads, but why sometimes is there sparks and sometimes there isn't? Is it just to do with like sometimes the tires are more damaged because they've not been um, at the pit stop for the, some laps or something? Like is it like what leads to sometimes or is it to do with like metal? Because actually to spark you would need metal to grip, wouldn't you? It wouldn't be anything to do with the tires. So is it just sometimes the cars are lower? Like what's the case in that? Because it looks crazy, but like, it actually looks scary. Like, imagine being in a car behind that and just seeing that. Like, that car, bro! God damn! Oh, I went back. Oh, why did I even go back? Pause, pause, pause. Yo, I genuinely enjoyed that, man. I need to do NASCAR more. I just, I'm, I'm struggling to find what sort of things to do. Because I'm not too sure what I need to do to, like I say, I'm not need to, like, what I should watch to try and understand the sport more. Like Snap Shoes videos are very good, but like I also want to look at actual races as well. I mean, he does do races, but I mean like um, like highlight reels after highlight reel, just of continuous racing. But yo, that was fun, man. Just suggest things you want to see, man. Anything you want to see, I'm going to try and do it over the next few weeks, especially if we're in lockdown. I'm going to try and post as much as possible. So, because uh, I mean, it will benefit me because I've got nothing really else to do. And hopefully it will just like make you guys like, help you the 1% more, especially with like no sports, etc. But yeah, that was a fun video, man. I genuinely enjoyed that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, like, subscribe and peace.